Hey everybody, so I'm here with my principal, um, Dr. Good, Martin. Um, good morning. <laughs> so why do we call you Dr. Martin, just to start things off? Because you know, most principals, you don't refer to them as doctor, you refer to them as mister. Well, I, I think that the first answer to that is because I've, you know, completed my PhD. Mm-hmm. And what? my bachelor degree in educational leadership. All right, that's pretty awesome. And so the word, you know, the term doctor comes with it. Now, I will tell you though, mm-hmm. uh, for the first year and a half to two years of having the degree, I know it was never called Dr. Martin. Because for most of my life, it's always been Mr. Martin. Yeah. And it sounded strange. Uh, when I came to Buckeye Central, um, it was asked by the staff, uh, should we call you Mr. Martin or Dr. Martin? I leaned towards Mr. Martin. The staff leaned towards Dr. Martin. Knowing where I started academically 25 years ago, you know, just being, I graduated number 30 out of 61 kids. Um, and just knowing that over time, you know, you can change, your priorities can change, and you can, you know, grow and and, and intelligence isn't something that's a fixed asset that you can, you know, improve in it. Um, I think the staff really liked the fact that that could be a good model yeah. for all of our kids, mm-hmm. you know. Um, just to start yeah. off, I was, uh, <clears throat> just wanted to ask you, just, this is just a question for me. Okay. All right. So what is, like, your impression of me? Like, I know we What's haven't really, my- like, had a a lot of like interactions together I would say. Okay. But like just from everything that you know about me, what's your like impression? Well that's a, so you're, and it's a sad thing that we haven't had a lot of interaction. It really is. Yeah, I mean of, we had that one time where I ran in that car and cried in your office. Yes, it's like, I, I wasn't going to bring <laughs> that up. <laughs> um, but I'm not in the classroom as much as I like. But backing up and going to my, my impression of you, mm-hmm. it's been a very good impression. I mean, I, 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 I will tell you that we have awesome kids at Buckeye. We really do. I say that a lot. Yeah. I think you guys <laughs> yeah. hear me say that a lot. Mm-hmm. I've been in a lot of different schools, and by far, of all my schools, we have the best kids here. So I, all of our kids are great kids, and I have a great impression of all of our kids. But then we do have some kids who stand out, even out of those great kids. And yeah. I would say that you definitely one of the kids that stand out for us. Okay, well, I appreciate so that. So it's a very good impression, you know. So this is kind of fun, actually. It is I'm, fun. I'm glad, I'm glad we're doing this. <laughs> I know, I just kind of had the idea, and then, like, my friends were like, no, that's so weird, like, don't do it. And I was like, why not? Like, I've never, like, talked to him, like, one-on-one really yeah. before. Like, yeah, let's chat one-on-one. Yeah. I, put, I actually put a questionnaire on my Instagram, nice. and I was like, what do you guys, like, I'm doing this, and if there are any, like, specific questions you guys want me to ask. And, of course, there were controversial ones, but I did not. All right, so how did you wind up, like, at this job at Buckeye Central? It's a great question. Um, I when, when I graduated high school, I had no idea I'd be <clears throat> back here. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of strange where things where life takes you. I met my wife. We were engaged, and as we were planning for a wedding, um, we were looking for uh, a place to go uh, that would offer both of us opportunities. Um, I loved where I was working, and so we thought it'd be fair if we both went somewhere different. Like somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. So when I moved back to the area, um, there were a couple of chances that I had to interview at Buckeye Central for different positions. Mm -hmm. Because I knew once I was back in the area that this is where I wanted to send my kids. And if I was going to send my kids here, I wanted to be here as well with them. Five years ago, when I was still a principal over at Pioneer. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, I didn't know you were a principal there. Before I was here, I was a principal at Pioneer for six years. Oh, okay. Um, My wife... Uh, is, is a family doctor and, and some of her patients are the Studer family. Mm-hmm. And when Colin passed away, um, I got a phone call that morning, I'd say about two hours after it happened, because um, my wife was, noti- was notified about it. Yeah. And my wife just loves the grandma, Colin's grandma. Um, and so um, it was, I mean, everybody from Buckeye Central, even if he didn't work here, knew who Colin yeah. was. So we obviously went to the calling hours for Colin, mm-hmm. and I remember standing in line for three hours at, at the calling hours, and I remember seeing all these pictures on the walls um, as we're in line of all the kids with Colin, of all the Buckeye Central kids yeah. with Colin, and I remember my wife almost tearing up, you know, because what you realized when you saw the pictures and you talked to the kids and you talked to the, you know, the adults, you know, Colin was voted as on homecoming court yeah. as a freshman. Not because they were making fun of Colin, but because they obviously loved Colin. My sister, my oldest sister was actually in his class. Yeah, so you know. Mm-hmm. So you know. And then I remember when we, when uh, Buckeye Central went to regionals the last time in basketball, yeah. boys basketball. Mm-hmm. 
I remember uh, the, the team coming out and pushing Colin in the wheelchair around the floor. I remember that. And so we're going through the line, we're seeing all these pictures, and we're hearing all these stories. And my wife looks at me, she goes, if this job opens up ever, you're applying. Um, all right, so what is your least favorite thing about being a principal? Oh, discipline. Uh, <laughs> discipline? It, it, it is, it's just no fun. Um, and and I, I'll, be, I'll be quite frank with you, um, the word discipline comes from the word disciple, and I get nerdy. <laughs> comes from the word disciple, which means to educate, to teach. So I try to take the time to do discipline. The right way. As, yeah, as, as an opportunity to talk, educate, to get to know people. Mm -hmm. um, that way we hopefully don't have it again. Now, the reason I don't like it is because it's, it's so time consuming. So I'm in here for an hour <laughs> doing that versus yeah. being out in the classrooms for an hour mm -hmm. hanging out. So that's probably the, the biggest issue, the biggest thing I don't like. I, I will tell you I'm blessed, again. Um, I have very few discipline issues. Mm -hmm. Very few. I, I, again, for six years before I came to Buckeye Central, I was at Pioneer. Mm -hmm. I probably had in one week at Pioneer the same amount of issues I'll have in one year at Buckeye. Oh, wow. I guess that puts it into perspective. Yeah. Maybe two weeks at Pioneer, okay, but, yeah. but still, very, very few. Mm -hmm. Well, that leads into the next question. This was actually a question that was asked okay. a lot, which was, what is the craziest reason you had to like discipline someone that if you can think of? Okay. Um, we had a young man a couple years back, um, and I probably shouldn't tell that one on camera. But that was, <laughs> but that one was crazy. So I've definitely heard about like kids who say that they've been drug tested, and they definitely like the day before they were like vaping with nicotine, and they weren't caught. Really? Yeah. So I was just wondering, like, do like, so our drug, like, our tests definitely do test for nicotine. Mm -hmm. It does. Yes. Okay. Well, a lot of people are have been saying that like maybe they don't because they like they know for sure that they should have been caught and they haven't. So I just didn't know if you knew anything about that. Nope. I, I mean, I, I will tell you of all the issues that we've dealt with when it came to our drug testing, um, it's been nicotine. The ones that we have, you know, the people who have failed it have been for nicotine reasons. Yeah. So it definitely picks up nicotine. Now, maybe some kids are vaping or using tobacco and it's a randomized test and they weren't selected. To be tested? Yeah. Well, no, the people I've said, like, they actually, they were selected, they didn't catch it. Really? Yeah. They definitely test for it, and, and we have, uh, again, one more time, the, the majority of failures that we get have been because of nicotine. Okay, so what is, like, the most rebellious thing as a principal, really? Because you think a principal, he must have, like, a super clean slate, right? What's, like, you think the most rebellious thing that, like, you've done? For yeah, so what makes me, I think, uh, you know, a, a pretty good principal is I wasn't always the best kid growing up. Uh, I was never a bad kid. Yeah. You know, because my mom, and, and I'm 44 years old, my mom would still beat me for doing bad things. <laughs> but growing up, she was pretty hard on me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely did silly things I shouldn't have done. You know, I, I remember signing out one time with a sub under the wrong name. Mm -hmm. on purpose to get somebody else in trouble. <laughs> um, I remember trying to find the code with another group of kids. Back in the day, there was a code that schools utilized to call the radio stations uh, to cancel school. <laughs> um, we never <laughs> did funny. find the code, but we wanted to find the code, you know? Mm -hmm. um, we did that once, but again, we never found it. Um, it still work like that now. Yeah, I remember getting busted for obviously TPing, which I'm sure kids still do today. Oh yeah, for sure. I was kind of quick in high school, so I remember being up TPing a couple of times with some group of friends. Mm -hmm. I got away, they all got caught. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the quickness came in handy. Um, but, you know, it's a small town, mm -hmm. so two hours later the cops were knocking on the door. We knew you were involved too. Yeah, <laughs> you know? So I got busted for that one, so. But what is your opinion on senior pranks and senior skip day? I actually opened the door up for the kids <laughs> like at five o'clock so they could get in and do the senior prank. Yeah. So I'm okay with senior pranks. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm gonna open the door and let the kids in, as long as they're harmless, yeah. honest, good-natured, fun, that's not gonna hurt anybody. Senior skip day, I don't think we had one this year. The, um, do you think that like, if kids organized one, it'd be something where like you'd be obligated to shut down, or no? Oh, no. I mean, you mean shut down school or shut down? No, 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 no. Like, yeah, be like, no, would, you guys can't. Do yeah, that. I would be opposed to a senior skip day, and here's why. Mm -hmm. We, since I've been here, we started the senior class trip. Oh, so that's kind of like we. The I mean, we we of... organize three to four days for you to be out of school. Yeah, and we take you somewhere pretty awesome. I would, I would, I would not like a senior skip day because of all the things that we've done recently. 
for seniors. But what is one thing that you would change about our school? I'd make it bigger. Um, I would love to have a productions class, oh, like a yeah. media productions class. So where would I put, you know, the green, we, 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 you know, more green screen technology? Where would I put that? You know, so I'm always trying to get creative with where I put stuff. I, I, as you know, I want to start an ACT prep class. You know, how do I fit that in? Where do I fit that in? Yeah. All right, so this is going to be the last question. Oh, that was well, fast. Okay, so I, this, those were like the the opener questions. <laughs> then I have okay. like I have ten like rapid fire questions. Rapid, I'm just going to ask you, fire. and you're going to try to like answer them as fast as you can. And, all right, rapid fire. You're just going to have to answer them as fast I as you really can. should have watched one of your videos before I said <laughs> yes to be prepared for this. I didn't know we did a rapid fire. Okay. All right, so you ready? Sure. Okay. What's your favorite color? Black. What's nine I'm, plus ten? I'm Italian. Well. Want to be Italian? Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> Twenty-one. Nine um, plus ten is not nineteen. What is the original capital of Ohio? Oh, it's Zinsville. Chill coffee. Oh. Does the cafeteria serve horse meat? Coffee. I'm sorry. Does the cafeteria serve horse meat? Absolutely not. Favorite U.S. president? Mm. Ronald Reagan. Dogs or cats? Dog. Favorite sports? Basketball. Biggest fear? Failure. Cookies or cake? Cookies. The last four digits of your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, ten plus nine. No, I know it's a, like a it's a meme. Oh, so gotcha. like it's like it was a, like a long time ago. There's this little kid and he was like, "What's nine plus ten? And he's like, "Twenty one." Yes, and you're right. The first capital of Ohio is Chillicothe. And what's terrible is like 15 years ago I taught Ohio history. 16 years ago I taught <laughs> no, 24 years ago I taught Ohio history. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Can we? Delete that part. Sure, <laughs> Just yes. that one question. <laughs> well, thank you for doing well, this with me. Well, thank you. I appreciate that it very was, much. That was fun. Now, can I ask, Ms. Curious, what were yeah. some of the really controversial questions that came up? Was it dress code oriented? Um, yeah. Oh, another one is how tall How tall are you? Do I want to be a basketball program? That's like five foot ten and a half. Mm -hmm. I'm really like five eight three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's we're, how a lot of we're them. We're always are. trying to cheat that stuff. Yes. You know, I think I'm like five eight three quarters, five nine. <laughs> pretty short. So I actually asked that. Yes. That's kind of funny. All right, so that's all that I have. What was the funniest question? Oh, the funniest question? A lot of, okay. Don't want you to take this personally, but a lot of them asked, <laughs> a lot of them asked why you wear oversized suits. Oversized suits? They're too big for me? I don't, I, listen, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, I got uh, it like three so times. So my life is so busy that I have a hard time taking, getting out and like, you know, like buying stuff for myself. Mm -hmm. So like last four years, five years, I probably lost like 27, 28 pounds. I gained some of the back. Mm -hmm. So I haven't always been able to get out and buy new stuff. <laughs> I bet the people will be satisfied with that. Oh, uh, the funniest one would probably be, does he drink milk? Not as much as I should. I need to drink more milk. Your bones my wife, are gonna be my gradual. wife yells at me, or take calcium pills, one of the two. <laughs> is, it, is there milk in coffee? No, there's not. Not unless you add it. No, or creamer. No, I have a lot of coffee. Yeah, I need to drink more milk. That's funny. <laughs> that funny. Oversized suits. I got it. Listen, don't take it personally. I'm not. No, don't no, it's personal. okay. It just gives me motivation to go shopping. <laughs>